Hello YouTube and fellow Minecraftians and welcome back to yet another Minecraft video. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial on a siege tower. So this is what we have here and this is what we're going to build. I'm going to try to speed it up and get it done as quick as possible but you guys get the idea and um, let me just give you a quick show around and what it is. So basically you have, so these are the ox tethers basically so you have two, four pairs of oxen two oxen here, two oxen there, so it would be eight oxen pulling this thing forward. Um, so then this this would get it into this to the site where they would need it, and then they would take these off, and then men would push it from inside. And then, so you, the men would go down in, into here, and they have these bars to push on underneath, and they have two more spots there and, and there. And so then they would push it forward, and then you have arrow slits so that these uh, guys could shoot arrows out from here. Um, and then they climb these ladders up and they have more place to sort of marshal here and get ready for war and then this is where they're all like just waiting for battle right here and then again you have two places for arrows and then they head up to here this is the last um, story and then they have this sort of like archer pit or archer area up on the top and then so that's where they all just shoot arrows down that's how they protect these soldiers that are coming across this ramp here and so this would retract would uh, lift and retract the the um the siege ramp and so that is what that is i'm basing this off of a uh, video i saw on youtube not too long ago i will link that in the description and uh, hopefully you guys will get some inspiration from it and uh, so anyway let's just get right started with this so first of all, this is the kind of base you're going to need. You're going to need to have, um, what I have is the rope block, which is the um, acacia wood or dark oak wood. And then you have four blocks between, and then you have another um, rope block, and then two blocks, and then a rope block. And then I go across, you have five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. So five blocks across. So that is the base to your siege tower. Now, what I'm going to do, we're just going to do the basics for now, and then I'm going to speed up the rest. So first of all, you're going to want to go three up and then rope block. So one, two, three, f so three, rope block, and then you're going to want to go up four. One, two, three, four, rope block, and then you want to go up one, two, three, four more, and then rope block, and then that's the top of your siege tower right there. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that to all four corners, and I will be right back. Alright guys, so there we go, we have our basic tower down, um, and I did something wrong here, so this is going to have to come down one, right there, there we are, and we have four blocks there, and so now that looks pretty pretty even, how that's supposed to be. Now what we're going to do is, as you can see here, we have links between the top section and also the section up here, it comes out one. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to do this, we're going to make our top section here. And we're going to go across like so. And then we're also going to link these. So I'll be right back and we're going to go ahead and link um, all of these right here. All right, there we go, guys. So that is our siege tower base. It's going to be a uh, fairly now this is where we get into the details and everything so it's gonna go a little slower now but uh, hopefully you guys can hang in with hang in there with me and uh, we can keep building this so we're gonna go ahead and do these wheels really quick it's just basically um, just like this it's really a really simple wheel design just made out of um, the four dark oak blocks and then you want it to be on uh, this side of the uh, rope block here so we're gonna go ahead and do this and then you want the other one right here and you want it sort of facing out a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and make it face out a bit. So there we go. Very good. So that is that. And now we're going to do the other side and I'm gonna do that really quick. All right, guys, and the wheels are done. So now we're going to go ahead and do these. This is the um, the portion here that makes the uh, that supports this whole side. And so basically, as you can see here, it goes across like so. 
And so what we're going to do is we're gonna take a block like this, and then we're going to go across, and then we're gonna take a block the same thing. I think it was the same thing. Yes. So we're gonna take another block the same thing like that, and then we're gonna go all the way across. So that is our middle section. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our little thingamabobs like this, and we're going to make a support, a support truss going down to the corner there. So then that is our support truss there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing here. And we're going to bring it up to there. And then we're going to do the same thing down. All right, guys, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and I will be right back. There we go guys, now we have our basic support structure down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to place some stairs here and here, there, and there, and there, and there. So now we have sort of a more support structure there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take iron blocks and we're going to sort of make the beginnings to this ox tether here. So we're going to take our iron blocks and go one here and one there. And then you're going to switch through the metadatas. Um, again, metadatas are only accessible in the Conquest resource pack, so be sure you have the Conquest resource pack with Optifine if you're going to try to do this. So our next project that we're going to do is we're going to be building this here. Um, it's going to be really simple. It's just going to be taking these blocks and we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then we're going to take upside down stairs there and then right side upstairs there. And we're going to do the same thing over here. It's going to be really quick. One, two, three, four, and then block there, there, and there, 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 and there. So there we go. Now we have our basic look of what we're going to be going for. Also, let's put some stairs here and there. Very nice. Now we're going to make these sort of like um, sort of like support trusses here. And that's that's sort of something that keeps it balanced and supported in the back. So let's just go ahead and do that really quick. We're going to take a block there, block there, and then we're going to take a block like this and that, and then this and that. All right, so we have our four blocks like so. And take that one out, and then like that and that. So very good. Now we're gonna take some stair blocks and we're gonna do this. Basically just filling in the holes and trying to make it look nice. So that is very cool. What about this over here? Let's go ahead and do this. Who's on? Okay, no one's on. That would teleport to me, I don't think. But very nice, that is good. And uh, I will be right back, guys, and we're gonna do our next part, which is gonna be the inside here. All right, guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and start filling the insides up, and we're gonna be filling all the way to the top, and we're gonna be putting on all these trap doors. Trap doors are gonna be a pain at some points, but we're going to have fun with it anyway. First of all, what we're going to do is we're gonna fill in the bottom floor, and we're going to add in these little support trusses here and that'll be cool. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to put logs, actually, I'm sorry. I am mistaking you guys. First of all, what we need to do is we need to take our, um, we're gonna take spruce half slabs and we're gonna put one there, there and there, and there, there, there and there, and there. So then that sort of adds that support into the, uh, the wheels. And then we're going to do this. We're gonna make our little, cross section there and then we're gonna take these boards and we're gonna put them like this one two three four and one two three four and there we go that is our boards that is going to support our structure from falling apart and so that they can push the thing along now we're going to put in our bottom floor here and we want to make sure we have a little open spot here so that it's gonna be a ladder to get down. And then the same thing is going to be here. So we need to take this and then these both sides are gonna be open so that the person that is, so that the people can get down to where they're trying to do their thing at. And so the front part isn't going to be, um, isn't going to have anything there. It's just gonna have the trap doors and you'll see why eventually. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the next floor, which is up there. And um, we're going to build it along here. So we're going to do this. We're just going to build it right along. Um, I actually should have done something else, but we'll just do that for now. So this is going to be the next floor. So basically level with that rope block right there. And then this is our next floor here. And I'm pretty sure, okay, it does come flush to the side. And then what we're going to do um, is, as you can see here, we have a normal block there. And then we have stairs, normal block. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to have a normal block here and a normal block there. And then stair, 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 like so. So it's pretty simple. So we're gonna have a normal block there there, stair, 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 like so. There we go. Now we have our next floor in the siege tower. And now we're going to go up another floor. I'm sorry, I gotta keep going back just to make sure I'm doing things right. And so our next floor is going to be flush with this next portion up here. So we're gonna have stair, actually no, we're gonna have block, 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 stair 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 and then we're going to have our planks like this all the way we're going to just fill this whole thing up with planks like so and then we're going to take our blocks and we're going to make a support support thingamajigger there <laughs> support thingamajigger of course that's what it's called and then we're going to do the same thing with the top here basically the same same design just is going to be without the normal blocks so it's going to be stair here, stair there, stair here, stair there. Am I, yeah, I'm doing something wrong. What am I doing wrong? It has to be up one, that's what the problem is. Yes, yes, that's the, what the problem is. It has to be there, 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 and there. Sorry about that, guys. And we're going to go ahead and fill this in as well. So now we got our basic floors done. And uh, now we can head on to the sort of detail phase. And um, it's gonna be fairly, fairly easy to do. Um, well, I will, I will not, I'm not gonna say fairly easy. It's, just, it's gonna be a little difficult, but I'm gonna try to time lapse some of it. And um, so hopefully it'll be pretty straightforward to what needs to be done. So um, now what we're going to do is we're gonna add in these trap doors all along the side. Well, first what we're going to do actually is we're gonna do this all the way up like that and then we're going to do this don't forget to do this here that's sort of like a, a cool detail block that you need to do so um very cool 50 50 cool so now we're going to go ahead and add in all these stinking trap doors because there's a lot of trap doors in here and they're all in the extreme hills biome so let's go ahead and get started on that and i will be right back all right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the trap doors here. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and do this really quick. We're gonna put two rope blocks there, two rope blocks there. Remember, this is the the actual siege portion of the tower. And instead of actually going through and cycling, we're gonna go ahead and take that and put that there, like so. It's a little oak block in the middle to simulate sort of like a, um, like it's uh, like a, a cylinder that goes between them. And then we're going to put that like that. So then we have sort of like this um, little door to head out onto the siege ramp. All right, so let's go ahead and do this now. Um, first of all, uh, since we're on the Raven server, um, I'm just gonna do this the easy way and I'm just going to copy and paste them over. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add in these blocks and they have to be on the outside. And we're gonna go ahead and do this, just like so. And then so this block there and there, that is where the um, the windows are gonna be for our um, archers that are gonna be inside shooting arrows. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and time lapse the rest. It's kind of basic. You kind of feel, you kind of know where it's supposed to go. Like all these are on the inside and then these are on the outside. Um, and then like see these on the outside, you can see how they're sort of offset there. And then these are on the outside as well, but you know, back. So. I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse it now, and I will be right back with a um, with all the trapdoors done.
All right, guys, so there we go. We have our siege tower main portion is done. Now what we gotta do is we're gonna make sure that we have these open windows here, and that is what's going to um, allow our archers to shoot out. And so the same thing is over here. We have these little open spots there and there. Same thing with here. Those are easy. But here we got to do this instead. We gotta put a block there, and we gotta copy and paste that block to there. And that is not what I wanted. There we go. And then we want to destroy that block and make that into our biome. So there we go. We have like a little open thing there for our archers to shoot up. We're going to do the same thing over here. We're just going to take that there, take that like that, and we're sample and paste, and then open, close, or destroy. And then there we go, like so. There we go guys, and that is our sort of, that is pretty much our siege tower now. Now we just gotta head details and the top. Our next section here is we're going to do the draw bridge here. So let's go ahead and get right into that. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take our, first of all, we gotta take our rails and we're gonna put those there. And then we gotta take our um, rope is gonna go here and there. And then we're going to do this because this is the easiest way to do it. And we're gonna go up to there. All right, so it's gonna be like that instead, I'm sorry. And there we go. And so then we got to make sure that goes up to there, destroy these blocks so that you have that extra, well darn. All right, well, we're just gonna do that, very good. So there we go, now we have our extra blocks. Again, you can't do this unless if you have the everything on everything plugin. Uh, it's very difficult to do otherwise. So make sure you come to the Raven server and try it out. Because this is how the Minecraft should be done as far as I'm concerned. Um, there's so much possibilities with Minecraft. It's just it's just incredible that Mojang doesn't, doesn't do what they're supposed to do about it. It's very unfortunate. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the drawbridge here and we're gonna take this and we're gonna go five out, I think. Yeah, that's it. One. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're gonna take our trap doors and we're gonna put place one there. We're gonna copy, copy that trap door and we're going to make them all trap doors. So make sure you go watch the video that I posted in the description, guys. It is very informative and um, even though this doesn't look much like it, it's the same basic idea of what the uh, siege tower is supposed to be like. So uh, make sure you guys go check that out. And I'm actually gonna destroy that and we're gonna do that. So just like this. So it's very simple, very easy. Um, and then we're gonna do that down to there. And then we're gonna go all the way up back to there. And then we got to destroy that block, that block, that block, and that block. And destroy the blocks. Basically, yeah, just destroy all the blocks underneath. And what we're going to do again is we got to replace those two blocks. And I just did a big boo-boo there. I just did a boo-boo. And there we go. So then we're going to take these ropes and we're going to point them upwards like so. So now there we go. We got our drawbridge and we have our opening mechanism. But before we have our opening mechanism, we got to put our little um, things on. So there we go. We have our biomes now. So make sure you're using the blaze rod for biomes. Most of you know that, but if you are new and you don't know that, um, yeah, make sure that you're using the blaze rod to change biomes. So there we go. We have our rope that's going to basically make the pulley system to pull this this stinking thing up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the top of this big old heap of wood. So it's basically just like fortifications. We're just going to build them around like this. And that is going to be our fortifications. And then we're going to do this, this, and I make sure, yes, I'm doing it right. And we're gonna do this underneath like so. So then we have our sort of um, thing around like that. And then that makes it very, very, very detailed like a soul. Speaking in Victor's voice. No, I'm not. <laughs> By the way, guys, speaking of Victor, go check his latest video out of Todd's Adventure. 
I am very amused by it. Love his videos. Um, I definitely suggest you guys go check him out because he is a great video video maker, and I just I just love his videos. Love him to bits. Um, but yeah, go check him out, guys. Certainly go check him out. Um, you guys are really messing yourselves over if you aren't checking his videos out. So now what we're doing is we're building the roof here. We're just building a um, little, this is sort of like a thing so like the archers can stand underneath and not worry about getting hit from above. Like the archers on the enemy towers can just like, would be able to just shoot down if you didn't have these, this on the tower. And so that adds more of a um, stable sort of, um, uh, what do you call it? That makes it so that the archers are safe. We'll just say that, how's that sound? <laughs> And we're going to go ahead and take our cobble walls and we're going to put a cobble wall there and there. And so that is going to make our siege tower sturdy with a sturdy little roof like so. And then to again add some more protection for the archers that are in the uh, siege tower, we're going to go ahead and build this on, which is a little sort of um, a little thing to add some detail and uh, I will be right back guys I'm just having some recording issues right now. okay guys so I think I got things sorted out and now we're going to go ahead and we're gonna make these into like so so then we have some extra protection for the archers so that they don't have to worry about getting um, blasted away with other from enemy archers from the sides um, of course the back is very exposed but you know, it doesn't matter. The back is typically where the army is. And where the army is, you don't need to have um, supports or uh, fortifications. So there we go. Now we have our basic tower is done. Now it's basically just detail phase. We're just gonna be adding in little details here and there. We're gonna try to make this look cool. We gotta add the ladders in. So what we're going to do really quick is gonna add in the ladders. And uh, first of all, what we're going to do so we're going to destroy that block and that block. So we have two ladders up and we're going to make our ladders all the way up to there. And we're going to do the same thing here. Ladders all the way up to there. And then we're going to add our um, trap doors just so that people don't trip and fall. Because there's probably going to be a whole slew of archers up here. Probably like 15, 20 archers um, all prepared for battle. So if one dies, one can just take the place. And then what we're going to do is, I think what I decided, yeah, I made the other ladder right here. And we're going to take our ladder block, we're gonna sample it, and we're going to go ahead and change all of those to ladders. Now what I could do to add a little more detail is behind those ladders, put in trap doors, but um, you know, you could do that if you want. If you really want to add in more detail and you want to try to make it better and that's fine I don't have any problem with that but for time purposes I'm just going to not do that for now and we're gonna go ahead and do this oh what am I doing and we're also going to make the yeah, another ladder here because this is going to be the way up into the thingamagummy here so there we are we have ladders like that and ladders like that so very good very very good and now we're going to make our sort of um, railing. So this is going, what's going to keep people from falling off the stinking thing. It's very tall, so I definitely want to keep them. The soldiers that we can keep alive, I would like to keep alive. And so we're going to do this. And so just imagine this thing's going into battle. You know, basically these things are supposed to provide a fear factor um, because you know these are some mighty. These are some huge things. And you know the enemies like just sitting there on their walls looking at this thing if this gets to their walls You know the battle unless if the soldiers on the walls are like really good and then the soldiers on the that are on the other army are really bad but um, Siege towers are like a fear factor device um, They're big they're bulky and they just they make the enemies just afraid because they know that they're about to be taken with these massive siege towers uh, coming at their way, coming their way. But um, crap. Oh, good. There we go. That wasn't hard. <laughs> that was easy. So um, there we go. We got our ladders going up, and so basically you can just climb your ladders 
da 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 and a da 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 so just imagine like 10 of these coming at you um it's just it's a cool idea like i i, I loved watching that one movie called kingdom of heaven um they had they had these siege towers these saracens did and uh, it was really cool but anyway i'm going to time lapse these um buttons here putting these buttons on basically you just put them up above and below all of the um uh the rope blocks so we're gonna go ahead and do that really quick i forgot to put one there so um let's go ahead and do that really quick and i will be right back All right, guys, there we go. The siege tower is done, complete. The only thing that we would have to add now are these sort of like wagon or these oxen tethers here. You can guys can just sort of see how that's done. It comes out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, make sure you have the iron sort of like um, connector at the end. That's sort of like the, uh, the, the pivot that makes it so that they can go left and right and stuff. But um, that, but you don't need this. If it's going up to the wall, they would take those off and then they push it. So this is the pushing version here. And uh, basically you can add all kinds of details into it. I didn't add any details, but I have like arrows and stuff up there. And uh, you could add a whole bunch of different details going all the way down, but it's not necessary for the video. You guys can decide what you want to put in. And um, we're just gonna go to the finished tower. And so you can just imagine yourself as an archer up here. You'd be very safe and be very awesome. You'd be very tall, very high up. So um, again, guys, go check out that video that I linked in the description. It's a very good video, uh, very informative, and it really helped me out when I was designing the Siege Tower. And there's also a lot of more uh, videos about from this guy um, about you know medieval stuff, and uh, let alone like documentaries on everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's a little long, and I'm sorry about that, but. Um, I hope you guys appreciate, you know, it takes time to do this and uh, it's really difficult to make short videos on such things. You know, if I was building something, you know, I could make something like this, but like dumb down the quality about 50% and I you know I could get the video done and I can get the video done and out there pretty quick. But when it comes to detailing like this um, and coming to making something sort of complex as what this is, it is um, a little difficult to come out with really short videos. And, um, you know, I understand some people have, you know, their ideas for what a video should be, and I'm perfectly fine with that. You know, I like to hear your ideas. I like to know what you think. So definitely don't, don't, um, don't forget to tell me, you know, what, what you think should be done. I'm, I'm completely fine with that, but, um, you know, there's short videos, there's long videos, and uh, that's just how, it's just how it is. And uh, I just hope, I really hope you guys understand that. Um, but... Yeah, this, this has been a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, if you liked the video, please like, thumbs up, and if you guys want to see more, please subscribe, and until next time, bye bye